Why are you not talking? I want to hear your reason. I'm very sorry, Ma. <laughs> hmm. Cordelia. Ma. I called you here because I wanted you to look me in the eye when you tell me why you are being wicked to me and my son. Ma, I can never be wicked to you and your son. Eh? You have been very good to me and my family. Mama said, Mama said she, she, she cannot. It is it? Hold it right there. She cannot what? It's again. Mama, I've tried everything I can to convince her. You will convince her. You will not convince him. <laughs> you will convince her. Because I will not be taken for granted. Mama. How dare she? Obonye! Who does she think she is? To reject my son after all these years. I, I don't know what else to do. Ma. You will know. <laughs> you will know what to do. Because you and I had an agreement. And it was based on that agreement that I did everything I did for your daughter. I know, Ma. I know. It's this thing. It is not this. I, I, I know, ma. I know, ma, that I want to hear. This is not what my ear wants to receive right now. You will go to your daughter and tell her that Kester and I are waiting for her. Failure for her to comply. I will start taking back everything I have given you. Please, ma. Starting from the land. Hey, ma. Biko, please, ma. I will demolish the structure. Hey! Ma. I beg you. Please. I'm begging you. See, I beg you. Acting as if you don't know what you're doing. When I was doing everything for your daughter, spending money on her, you were all smiles. Now you're here. Like a vulture beaten by the rain. Please, ma. Look. Leave my house. I've said enough. Leave here, you're starting to meet me. I think you poor! Poor you up! Get out of my house! Negodu God! Carry your poverty stricken self and get out of here! Look at who they are trying to help. Imagine! God forbid that I let this kind of thing happen. I am nobody's fool. Abigail! Abigail! Ma? Go and set the dining table for me. Yes, ma. Mommy. Mama, are you crying? What did she say? Mommy, it's okay. It's enough. Stop crying. I will take it off from here. Okay. Hey, baby girl. Hi, what's up? Huh? What's going on? Why are you wearing a long face? I don't even understand anymore. Kester's mom has made it compulsory that I get married to Kester. Else she'll take everything she has ever given to us. What? Oh, wait, wait. And that is practically everything. Exactly. I don't even know how my mother agreed to that. Nah. I don't think she really agreed. She did. Let's look at it this way. Your mother was your cook for over two decades. You were two years old when she started cooking for them. And Kester was about four to five years old, right? Right. Then as you grew older, let's say about 10 years, it was very obvious that you became a smart and a beautiful girl. 
Then one day, Kester's mother says to your mother, Oh, your daughter is really beautiful and smart. I like her and I want her to marry my son. And your mother goes, Amen, oh. Is that what happened? In a way, yes. So how is that an agreement for crying out loud? She said it to her for years. And every single time my mother agreed. She was even happy. We are from the same village, so she obviously knew where my dad died and knew that he left nothing for us. Do you know what she did? She bought a land and built a bungalow for us. Babe, who does that? A nice person who can afford it. Okay. She saw me through school from A to Z. How did my mom not understand that this woman is serious? No, ma. Can I ask you a question? A very simple question. Do you think that your mother would ever want something bad for you? I know she never wants anything bad for me. Okay. But she took for granted what she shouldn't have. How? By agreeing to my marriage with Kesta without even knowing what the guy would turn out to be. I am sure that Kester looked like a great guy when he was growing up. Okay, how about let's wait for these kids to grow up and see maybe, maybe they would love each other, giving us a chance to know if we even want to be with each other or not. <laughs> no, you're just worried. You know, you're saying all of this because you are really under pressure. So you need to take a deep breath, like relax. Okay, because if you were in your mother's shoes, baby girl, you would do the same. And I am very sure that your mother is even surprised that they are now taking the joke they had back then seriously. And I know that you are protective and crazy about your mother. So don't even start, don't cry, okay? What you need to do is relax, like I said. Take a deep breath and once you are calm, pick up your phone. Call your mother so you guys can sort things out and know what to do. It's, it's that simple. I, I don't know why you're worried. <sighs> well, my brother is coming back today. What? Mm -hmm. what, what should I do? Nothing. <laughs> See, I already told my brother about your accommodation issues before you moved in. And he said, okay. Besides, he comes home once in a blue moon, and he has his room. So there's really nothing to worry about, okay? Thank you. You're welcome. What you should do right now is go inside and change it to something casual. Your food <sighs> is in the kitchen. And smile. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome, baby girl. Welcome, it's me. since we got to the table. Can you just please spit it out? Tell me what's going on. Your wife will soon join you. You mean Norma? Yes. Interesting. How did you manage to pull that off? I invited Cordelia over and told her what will happen if they fail to comply. Okay. And what did she say? She started begging. <laughs> I sent her away to convince her daughter. She's still begging. Oh. Imagine that. After everything we've done for them. <sighs> they don't know that it's a privilege to marry into this family. <laughs> Mom, if you ask me, I think we should just leave that rude 
an arrogant Inoma. Forget about her. Let's just leave her to herself. God forbid. Okay. How am I supposed to be happy with someone that it is taking threats to get her to marry me? Think about it, Mom. Kesta Chukwemeka Uwazurike. Yes, Mom. Do not stress me. Mom, I am not stressing you. How much money have you lost the company? Oh my God. Since your father traveled abroad for Not treatment again. and left the company in your hands. Oh no. Mom, I made a couple of bad decisions. A couple? <laughs> Did I hear you say a couple? Mom, this business takes getting used to, okay? I am learning every day. For how long? You attended the best schools, home and abroad. You watched your father and I build that company for decades. How long will it take you to learn? You need Norma in your life. That girl is the best. Has been the best in her class. Year to year, on every level. She is beautiful. She is intelligent. She is a well-grounded girl. If there is anything Cordelia did right, it was in raising that girl. Okay. Yeah. You just mentioned all this amazing qualities of a mama. But this person does not want to marry me. It does not matter what she wants. I do not ever want to hear you. Talk about not wanting her. It seems you don't understand the importance of her expensive education to this family. Okay. I like her. That is what I want to hear. And by the time I'm done with her, she will not just like you, she will love you. Eat your food. I have this under control. Bridget, I'm home. Yay, big bro! <laughs> How are you? I'm good. Welcome back. I missed you. Good evening. <sighs> Meet my friend, the one I told you about. She's staying with me for a short while. Her name is Norma. <laughs> Hi. Um, so is there anything to eat? Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll just fix something quickly for you. This, this food, I'll just quickly fix something up for you. All right. Please, anything, I'm really, really famished. I okay. got you. Hope you got something for me. Yeah. You can trust me now. I know what you always like. Ah. 
doesn't want me here. <laughs> My brother doesn't want anyone here. Even you? No. My brother loves me. <sighs> See, Inuma, there's something you should know. You know, there was this girl my brother invested his life loving, taking care of her. He actually did a lot for her and genuinely loved that girl. Hmm. Only for him to find out that she was sleeping with his business partner. My brother was really broken. <laughs> like he needed to see him then. It took him a while to recover. And when he finally recovered, I brought in this friend of mine, thinking that I was doing my brother a favor by bringing a friend so he can forget about his past, you know, mm. move on. <clears throat> but guess what? What? That one was worse. I was so embarrassed and deeply pained. Do you know that that stupid girl was living with another man? Yes! Are you serious? I am not kidding you. She was living with another man and lied to me. That wasn't even the issue. What really got me upset was the fact that she was stealing my brother's money to give to that her stupid lazy boyfriend. Wow. My dear, I was the one that found out though. And for over a week, I couldn't say Jack to my brother. Because I was really ashamed, you know, bringing in your friend now, mm -hmm. after I've spoken a lot about her, mm -hmm. telling him that she's this, she's that. Only for this girl to come and misbehave. So since then, my brother decided that he will never have anything to do with any of my friends. Mm -hmm. So you see, and he has refused to get close to any girl, talk more of falling in love. And me, Kuku, I have decided to just let him be. Let him just move on on his own. I don't want to meddle in his affair, relationship mm -hmm. or anything. Let him just move on because you see some women, eh? they will actually stain your white more than men. Right. Now I understand. He thinks I'm the same. Do you blame him? Everyone in his shoes will think the same way. It is not his fault. My brother has been through a lot, baby girl. <laughs> Yeah. Well, thank God I'm not looking for a man. The moment I get to your house, I'm out. I'm out. <laughs> I'm out. It's I'm my friend, shot. you will not kill me. I know, so just I relax, shout. okay? Just relax. He's, he's going to come around. I, I trust so. me, he's going to come around. I'm Calm so down. Old. I know, that's my I brother for you. But if you get ground. to know him, if you get to know my brother, don't oh, worry. Wait, Let me just so check. No, 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 no. You don't have to. Trust me. You don't have to. My brother is a sweet person, but. It's just, you know, because of the things that happened. Let me check his don't eat. Okay. I'll be back. Relax, okay? This <sighs> place is like your house. Where's my slippers? Oh, I'm sweating. I can't this way. I'm literally sweating. Oh, Why? God. I just want you to relax, girl. You don't have to walk yourself up, okay? Let me check if his don't eat. I'm going to go. Norma is just here to put herself together, okay? I will never bring anyone here again to try to get you to date them. Even if you do, I won't look at them twice. I know, I understand you, okay? I'm just telling you so that you can be relaxed. You don't have anything to worry about. As long as she stays out of my way. Fine. Settled. She will stay out of your way. So tell me, how long are you staying? Maybe three weeks. Mm. Okay. And how is the Abuja set up? It's looking really nice. Wow. You know, you should come and see what we're doing over there. I will. I'll find time to. 
This is delicious. I know. Of course, you know that your sister is a good cook. <laughs> I'm glad you like it. Yeah. At least you're eating something from the house, a homemade meal. You're smiling. And the town union agreed to do something like that. I don't understand. Marry another person. Did I tell them I have someone I want to get married to? Mommy, you know what? Just stay where you are. Don't go anywhere. Stay at your sister's place till I figure out what to do. Mommy, there's nothing you can do. This family sponsor literally everything the union does. And then they think Kesta is the best thing that can happen to any woman. Oh, there's nothing you can do, Mommy. Mom, just stay where you are and I'll call you back when I figure out something. <laughs> Mommy, I'll call you tomorrow. There comes my beautiful, beautiful bride to be. Good morning, Kes. Good morning, my darling. You want a glass? No, thank you. It's too early. Oh, really? <laughs> well, it's not too early for me. <clears throat> I um, I came to see you. Isn't that how it is supposed to be, my love? Please, can we sit? Sure. Kester, please, we really need to talk. I'm all ears. <clears throat> um, do you, do you really like me? Of course I do. How so? Well, I do not know how to put it in words, but... I like you. A great deal. Does it matter to you if I don't feel the same way? Well, that's what women say when they haven't met who they want. Kesta. 
realize that there's someone out there for you. Someone who loves you and wants to be with you. No, Ma, I don't want those people. You can't seriously... I want you. I guess that you can't, you can't seriously want me. I do. Because your mother told you to? So what you're saying now is that I don't have a mind of my own, right? Uh, of course not. That's not what I'm saying. I'm just, I'm just asking you to help me beg your mom to stop the demolition of our house and then we can figure out what we should do, please. <laughs> you were very smart. There's nothing smart about what I'm asking you. No, ma, the only deal I would have with you is this. That you go get your things. And move in here immediately. Anything outside that? My mom can go ahead and do whatever she wants to do. Kester, Kester, please. Go get your things, you know, ma. I'll be waiting for you. find out what the problem is. No, ma! to do it themselves. Isn't the town union supposed to protect the interest of everyone in that village? We also the people are more important. Hey, I have never seen this kind of thing in my life before. I have to marry him. <laughs> forgive me, please forgive me. I do not mean to laugh at you. This must be a joke. <laughs> of course you're joking, right? You need to have heard my mother's voice last night. <sighs> no, ma. I understand that this is a devastating situation. But you cannot bring yourself to marry that dunce and destroy your future. I don't have a choice. No, you do. You have a choice. If I don't do something, they will never let my mother rest. You will do something, okay? We will figure it out. But not the stupid thing that you are about to do. Bridget, my mother is sentimentally attached to some things and that house is a part of it. I don't want her to develop a high blood pressure and die. I can't stand it. Don't you understand? I see you've already made up your mind. Yes. 
for you. No, my beloved friend. See? No, you need to relax, okay? You need to think this through. What do, do you want to live with that man? Like, marry him, have children for him, and spend the rest of your life with someone that you do not feel anything for, a man that you do not even love. Is that what you want to do? I'll just find a way to avoid getting pregnant. Maybe when I can fight them, I'll leave. And you think that will be easy to do? I don't have a choice. Don't you get it? I don't have a choice. I don't know what to do. Just so calm down, okay? You need to calm down. It's okay. Everything will be fine. I promise you. I promise you. Please don't come in. What is it? What's wrong with your friend? They are forcing her to, to, to get married to some stupid guy that she doesn't love. And she has agreed. Maybe she has found a reason to. There's no reason to. Okay. See, she's just doing this thing because she doesn't want them to hurt her mother. She's trying to protect her mother. I don't understand your story. What do you mean by trying to hurt her? Did they kidnap her or something? No, they didn't. So Noma and her mother lived with this Kester guy and his family. Noma's mother was their cook. So when Noma was young, Kester's mother said to Noma's mother, um, my son, Kester, is going to marry your daughter. And the woman happily agreed. Yeah, that's the thing that yeah, people do. It's a normal thing. It's not normal for this family because they're now taking this seriously, like very serious. Because they paid every bill for Noma and her mother and... Okay, and now it's payback time, eh? Unfortunately, yes. William, this is not funny. Can't you say I'm serious? But I'm not... I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm not laughing at your friend. I'm just... <laughs> I'm surprised because I, I didn't think this type of things still happen. Okay, now you know it does. Can you please help? What do you mean by that? William, you know plenty people now. Yeah, people that I do projects with. Yeah, maybe they will know the family and they can talk to them. <laughs> you project. Can you hear yourself? So in your mind, all rich people know each other. That's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is you should look into the Oazriki's family. They have a transportation business. Maybe you can find something that can help us with Noma's situation. Bridget. It doesn't work that way. William, I am sorry. Okay, please forgive me. I know I messed up in the past. I brought in someone that stole your money and broke your heart. But Why did you bring that up? Because ever since that incident happened, you, you've been treating everyone the same. I don't know more really. I'm so, I can't help your friend, okay? I'm sorry. William, this is not fair now. Please, I know that you can do something. You're just refusing to help. So you're not going to do anything? Really? No problem now. It's my fault. I wouldn't have told you anything in the first place.
kind of Mommy, have you gotten there? Yes. Yes, I have. No, ma. Are you sure you want to do this? Mommy, we don't have a choice. Hey. What kind of world is this? Eh? Mommy, see, don't think about it. Just go in there and tell them that you have convinced me. Okay? Okay. Call me when you're done. All right. Good evening. Good evening, ma. Cordelia. Yes, ma. Sit down. Thank you, ma. You called? Uh, yes, ma. I wanted to come and tell you that I've convinced Norma to marry your son. Are you serious? <laughs> so, she has realized that she actually loves Kesta. <laughs> <laughs> Sweetheart, do you hear the good news? I actually heard her. <laughs> and I love her too, Mom. I know you do. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, when can she move in? You took the question out of my mouth, darling. Cordelia. Yes, ma. When is she coming home? I will tell her to speak to Kester. To call her husband? Mm. Yes, her husband. So that she'll know when to come here. To come home? Mm. Come home. Good. <laughs> Go ahead and make the call. Okay, ma. Mm. Mm-hmm. Our in-law. <laughs> 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 by fire, by force. By force. She realizes she loves you. <laughs> hmm? You are too much. Don't try me down. <laughs> I'm sure you cried yourself to sleep, didn't you? I mean, 
this, all of this is, is not what I prayed for. Exactly why you should stop that nonsense talk about marrying that guy. Okay? okay. So what time will you get ready for work? In an hour. Okay, that's great. I, I have to run now. I have an early morning meeting at the office. I'll see you when I get back. You look good. Thank you. And please chair or okay. enough of those tears. I don't want to see them by the time I get back. Sure. Thank you. My beautiful one. <laughs> come, 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 come. <laughs> oh. mm. Smile for me. <laughs> Kesta. Yes, mom. Take your wife's box to your room. She and I need to spend some quality time together. <laughs> Be famished. Hmm? I prepared a banquet specially for you. <laughs> you know, I never do anything small. <laughs> ne! No, ma! <laughs> Where are you? No, ma. <laughs> Is this a prank? about this now. No. 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 Oh no. 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 God, why? No, no. What is it? As if you care. Don't give me that, Bridget. What is it? Don't give you what? No, William, don't give you what exactly? I begged you. I begged you to, to see if there was anything you could do to help her. Like what? I can't do anything for the friend. Did you even look? Did you try to see if there was anything you could do? Look, please, there was no point checking, okay? There was no point trying. When I'm very sure that there's no, I'm not in any position to help her. No problem. Thank you. Thank you so much for not doing anything. It's not like I need your help after all. She has moved in with them already. So thank you so much. Wait. Since when do people move into the house before they after are married? Were you not listening? I told you that she, she, she needed to do everything possible to protect her mother. I'm sorry I couldn't help. If only you tried.
or are you keeping like that? I'm okay. Well, I am not okay. Kester, please. Please what? I was expecting you to be in your sexy lingerie. <laughs> well, I don't have any sexy lingerie. Oh, that. Okay, man. Well, not to worry. Tomorrow I'll get you a dozen sexy lingerie. I don't need one. No, ma. I am your husband. We are not married yet. But we will. Until then. Oh. That's the plan, right? You come in here. Thereby stopping my mother from pulling down your house. But then I gain nothing from all of this. Is that the plan? Don't you dare touch me. How long do you intend to do this? For as long as it takes to get married. I see. I will shock you. I will shock you. In one week, you will have your wedding. What is it going to take? Money. Just money. And I have it. Plenty of it. Are you mad? Are you sick or something? You think you can waste my time? You think you're smart? Let me bring that lingerie tomorrow and you refuse to wear them or deny me your body. Then we would see. <laughs> this is a dream. What? No, 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 no. No, my you so fat. Ha! Okay. Mom, that is the one I will not take. Kesta. Calm down. Hmm? Why don't you go out? Get some air. Hmm? I've sent for her. She and I will have a little chat. Okay, mom. <laughs> hmm. Sweetheart, good morning. Would you like some breakfast? No, oh, no, thank you. I'm not ready to eat. Okay. Please sit down. <sighs> no, ma. <laughs> you know I like you. Thank you, ma. I like you very much. I'd like us all to live in peace and harmony. I understand now. Do you know why I asked you to come and live here before the wedding? No, ma'am. It's because I want you to get used to being the princess of this house. Years ago, you lived here with your mother when she was the cook. Now things are different. My husband and I are supporting our son 
getting married to the cook's daughter because we are very humble people. I hear you are yet to see your husband as your husband. <clears throat> Ma, I just, I just want things to happen the right way. <laughs> you want a wedding first. Well, I'd like you to let me know what wedding gown you like. The wedding gown you'll be wearing tomorrow. Ma? <laughs> You want a wedding, and I'm giving you one. By tomorrow. Uh, it takes weeks or even months to plan a wedding. Ah. <laughs> Where there's money, miracles happen. <laughs> Get ready, my dear. You are about to experience the fastest wedding in history. <laughs> Bridget. Bridget, come on. You can't fight with me because of your friend. What do you want? Look, I'm just saying that. Oh, please, is... please, William. I am already late for work. Can I go now? All right, you can. Hello? How did you get this information? Oh, okay. Okay, then um, if they are still in the meeting, can you send in my own profile? Thank you, yes. Yes. I wasn't expecting it to be this easy. Yeah, okay, uh, fine. I, I will talk to you later. Just keep me posted, okay? All right, bye. you to let me do it. Is he around? No, they're all out. Oh, no, ma. You are a first class material. It won't take long for you to get the kind of job that fits you, that befits you. Then you can give your mother the kind of life that she deserves. And before then, I don't know, but we'll find a way to get these people up. I can't even come up with anything. This is really sad. I couldn't even sleep last night. Why? <laughs> he, he, he wouldn't let you or what? At some point, he got upset and left. I hate being in this house. It saddens me so much. Then leave now. What is holding you they back? Will come for my mom. This family is so vindictive. Okay, fine. Why can't they wait till the wedding? I know they think I would run away before then. So they intend to hold you here until after the wedding? Yes, they are trying to make happen in one week. <laughs> Noma, you are smarter than this now. Of course you know that is impossible. Legal marriage documents takes longer than this. I don't know, I'm just so terrified right now. You know, I am so angry that this is happening at this age and time. No, Marcy, listen, just give me the permission to call these people out on social no, media. No, 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 you don't have to do that. See, this family is very influential. They come from my mom. You know, she likes traveling to the village and that's the only way she connects with my late dad. This is, this is honestly sad. 
It is. You will be fine. Okay? Trust me, everything will fall in place. But I'm still angry with you. Why, why did you leave the house the way you did? It's not fair. Because you know I can't stay mad at you. <laughs> uh, no, no, no. Don't cry. Don't. Yeah, no. Fine. <laughs> Thank you. I'm here for you always. I love you. I love you too. Aww. <laughs> so, should I offer you? <laughs> so today it is jeans. Huh? No, ma, today you went to wear jeans. In there are the sexy lingerie that I promised you. Pick one. Change into it. And be prepared for me. Okay? Wear one. Be prepared for your husband to give you the might you will never ever forget. Mama, Mama, open this door, this means now. Mama, Mama. Enough of the anger, Casper. I refuse to take that. I refuse. I will not tolerate what she did last night, Mom. And I will not have you do anything that will make her run away. Ah, oh, my darling. <laughs> Good morning, dear. Come, come sit with me. <laughs> yes. Oh, fantastic. Let him in then. Kester, the young man who will be handing the logistic company over to is here. Apparently, he flew in from Abuja. And he's here already? Yes, I asked him to come. If he's indeed willing to handle the logistic company, then he needs to start immediately. Go and usher him in. <laughs> Darling, I want you to sit in for this meeting. Of course. Are you not a member of this family? Chief Mrs. Uwaziriki, it's an honor to meet you. The pleasure is mine. Within the past 24 hours, I have heard a lot of good things about you. Please take a seat. Thank you, ma'am. I asked you to come here because I wanted to speak with you unofficially. I know the company has uh, suggested I hand over the logistic arm to you. But I'd like to hear from you. 
Why do you want it? First, let me say this, Ma. You and your husband have been an inspiration to me. I have watched your business grow over the years. Thank you very much. Uwazirike is a big name. I can understand the challenges since Chief became ill. But it casts no shadow on the success story of the business. I want to be a part of this family. Um, some people call me the revamp addict. I look for frail companies to rejuvenate. And with logistics and industry, I have always wanted to join and conquer. I consider this a lifetime opportunity. You are a very bright young man. <clears throat> I like you. Thank you, Ma. What do you think, darling? Ma? Um, yeah, I, I think it's a good idea. Well, I found him confident enough to deliver on the promises he made in his proposal. I think he'll do great things. Well, there's nothing more to add. We will conclude with the documentation as soon as we can. But today is Friday. So meet me at the office on Monday. Okay, Ma. Thank you so much. It's a pleasure. So I'll take my leave now. Okay. Alright. Thank you. Hello, babe. What do you mean by he was there? No. What? No, he didn't. He didn't tell me anything. Okay, see, so just hold on, please. Yeah, hold on. What's going on? Hello, Bridget. How are you? I'm fine. What were you doing at Kester's family house? Well, I, um, I'm taking over their, the part of their business, so the CEO wanted to see me. Why that business, that particular business, of all businesses in this world? Well, I heard that um, since their dad was rushed to the U.S., obviously because of his health, that um, some of the arms of the business was plummeting, obviously because their son has no idea on how to run it. So they're breaking the company into bits and they're giving it out. So I took one. That does answer my question. No, I was trying to tell you about it before you showed me. Yeah, that's because I needed you and I saw no sympathy on your face. Well, this is me showing sympathy. I was talking to a friend of mine about how I wanted to be close to the family and he was like, this is the route to go. But with my company profile, that um, they would say yes to me. So he helped me push it with someone on the inside and I wasn't even expecting it to happen this fast, but here we go. You see, I told you that you know a lot of people. Doesn't mean I'm happy doing this. I'm just doing it because of you. Thank you. So what's the plan? Well, the idea is to know what makes the family happy and see how I can manipulate it to help your friend. Sorry. Excuse me. Hey Dan, what's up? Man, thanks. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. I wasn't really expecting it to happen as fast as it did. Oh, I took over the logistics company. Yeah, and now I will need someone to run it for me. Okay, yeah, help me with that. Thanks. Bye, I'll talk to you later.
Hi. She can't do it. Mm? No ma, of course. See, listen, that girl is APICS certified in production and inventory management and also certified in logistics, transportation and distribution. Well, I guess it's time she works for her freedom. How about William? Don't put it that way. That's not nice. Well, I don't have any idea in running a logistics company. I'm only doing this because of you. Yeah, so don't spoil it with your bad mouth. You're doing it because of me. Okay. Hey, finally! Good to see mm. you. <laughs> Sit, please. Thank you. So tell me, was it hard to get out of the house? No, not exactly. I mean, I'm supposed to feel free, not caged. <laughs> uh, good morning. Good morning. I um I want to say thank you for everything you're doing for me. Don't thank me yet. And I'm doing this because of my sister. I appreciate. So what do you plan to do with that yeah, dead logistics company? <sighs> well, there's a whole lot to do. But first, we have to reevaluate the market to see the company's relevance and offer. Knowing the market and its competition is very important. And then build a resilient value chain leverage broader network and of course optimize the company's digital presence there's a whole lot to do but i'll just start from somewhere well i'll just let you and william handle it because i have no idea what you're talking about <laughs> let me get you something okay thank you I will um, get you the documents you can work with them. Okay, thank you. Do you understand that bonding with her and getting her pregnant will help us achieve what we seek? Mom, isn't that what I have been trying to do? Then try harder. That girl is smart enough to help you run this huge company we are leaving for you. Or else you go broke within a year. Why else do you think I've been fighting for her to marry you? I understand. No, you do not understand. Because if you did, you would have been calling to find out where she is now. Trying to show care. It is easier for her to relax on her own than forcing her to. Mom, you make it seem like I have always had a smooth and cordial relationship with this girl all along. Are you deaf? I said build one! This marriage should do and happen. I'm tired. I'm getting fed up. It should just do and happen very fast. Mr. Man. No wedding can happen within a week in this country. I just said that to keep her on her toes. And I threaten her with it. Why should you even be threatening her? I think she's back. Get her a key so she can move around freely. And do whatever it is you can do to keep her. Mm. Mama, wait now. Wait what? What is it? What is wrong with you? What makes you think you would stay in this room without me touching you? Then show me another room because you will not touch me. There is no other room. 
Remove this. Kesta. Remove, remove these jeans. Kesta. Leave me alone, Kesta. Remove it. I'm not taking up anything. Remove it. Leave me alone. What is it? Remove it. Kesta, this is not funny. Hey, get off me. Ah. Uh -uh. What is it? Say by force. I bet they need to be this night. Okay, this is with my hand. Kesta. I will enjoy you. Yes, come in. Good morning. Good morning. Is everything okay? Yeah, yeah. Okay, sir. Thank you. So I will need something I want to present to a team I'm putting together. Can you help me with it? Yeah, yeah, sure. And um, I've been meaning to ask, how is it that you come here during work hours? Um, my job is about interfacing with our clients, so I can work from anywhere. So um, I will leave you to work while I go get ready, okay? Okay. All right. Okay. Something. Are you okay? Yeah. Because I came to ask if you wanted coffee and I noticed you were struggling with your shaky hands. Are you suffering from anything? Um, no. No, I'm not. Okay, then why is your hand shaking like that? <clears throat> I just didn't get enough sleep. Why? I'm sorry, I can't discuss that. And no, I don't want coffee. Thank you. What is this now? What's 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 what what what's the meaning of this one? You are not feeling too well. Guy, knowing the family is not what I'm looking for, okay? Give me something I can work with. Fine, send it. Hey. 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 So, what's up with her? Took her to the hospital. We ran some tests. The result will be out by tomorrow. But the doctor said that he suspects anxiety attack. Wow. I don't know, but that house is doing something to her. And no matter how strong she is. Um, I have to go. What's going on? Huh? What's going on? I can't talk about it now. Maybe later, okay?
<laughs> I can already tell something delicious is cooking. <laughs> you can see that again. What are you doing in this kitchen now? Um, well, I came to see if there was anything I could help you do. <laughs> well, there's nothing you can help me with. William, I know I practically blackmailed you into helping my friend. I'm sorry I did that, but thank you so much. Thank you for agreeing to help her. I just hope this works out though. Well, her freedom is looking possible. Really? Yes. I just found out that um, Kester has a lady who is pregnant for him. What? And his mother doesn't know. Wait, are you serious? Yes, well the gist is that if she gets to find out, she's going to strip him of everything. So what are we waiting for? Let's expose this guy. I am very sure that once this news gets to his mother, she will not have the, the moral right to, to, to keep Noma in that house for one day. Not to talk more of forcing her to get married to her son. Look, there's no moral right in all of this. Pregnant lady or not, this is just oppression, pure and simple. So what do we do with this information now? Well, bring your friend here tomorrow evening. I'm thinking of something. Oh, wait, do you want me to call her now? Like, she can come over. Tomorrow, okay? Okay, fine. <laughs> She'll come tomorrow. He and how long is this going to take? One hour. What? <laughs> See the look on his face. I got you. I meant five minutes. Better, <laughs> because I can't wait. I know, because you like food, FFO, for food only. How do you mean? Do you realize I'm your elder brother? I was just joking. But mm -hmm. well, you shall like food, true or false. <laughs> okay. So you don't want me to do anything for you? There's nothing you can do for me. Just go to your room and keep pressing your laptop. That's the only thing you know how to. You know that's a shade, right? Sorry. Keep forgetting that I beated you when you were small. <laughs> small. I'm right. grown up now. Bye. I can see that. All right, bye. Okay, Casey, yeah. I'm waiting. I will be done soon. Hey, baby. You're better now. I know the medication is working. Yeah, <laughs> Thank you. Oh my God. SMS. Yeah. Wait, that gist is for real and not a gossip. Ah, uh, good morning. Good morning. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. So has um, Bridget briefed you yet? Yeah, but is the story for real? I saw them myself. Wait. So he has a woman and he's putting me through all of this? I'm going straight to tell his mother. He'll deny. Is that a proof? Maybe a picture or something? I, I really need to do something. I hate being in that house. Doing something is why you're here. You will do something. Beautiful wife. <laughs> Good evening, darling. Um, Ma, I actually want to say something. Oh, please have a seat. Um, <clears throat> I'd like to say thank you for everything you've done for me since I was a child. I took it for granted. I also want to apologize for not realizing that being with Kesta is a blessing. I'm ready to make sure this wedding happens. I, I know you've not asked for my wedding gown choice because you don't want to put me under pressure, but I'm willing to do anything to make sure it works. Wow. What's, what brought you to this point? <laughs> A lot of thoughts and my mother's advice. <laughs> <laughs> Your mother is a very wise woman. <laughs> I'm sorry I almost brought her house down. 
it will never happen again. Thank you, ma'am. <laughs> I had a very long day. I'll just go relax. Okay, darling. Thank you, ma'am. Mama! 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 Esther! What is going on? Come here. Come, 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 come. Did you make this post? What is going yes, on? I did. Take it down right now. Oh, get in there! I said, take this post down right now! Kesta! Why are you harassing her? Mom, I will not have someone who does not appreciate me. Someone who would not allow me to touch her, post my picture on Instagram with all the sweet nothings. What's all this pretense for now? Marriage is very important to me. I'm waiting for us to get married before you can touch me. Yeah. And me posting this is just to show the world the man in your life. I am not the man in your life. Are you mad? I will never be the man in your life. Gesta! Are you raving mad? Mom, look, I, I don't want Are you... What you have been crossing oceans and seas to look for is standing before you now, and you're talking nonsense. Look, mom, I will not. Shut up! Ah! Mom, I want this picture taken down immediately. Okay? If this wedding is going to hold, it has to be on my own terms. Okay? And I want it low key. Wait. Did I just hear you say if? Guess that from your mouth. You said if. Yes, mom. Loki, what did My friend, get out of here. See room four! Leave here before I descend on you! Off here. Maybe I should just take down the horse. My friend, don't take down anything. Hmm? Don't mind him. Hmm? He's just upset because he hasn't touched you yet. <laughs> That's how some men behave. <laughs> you see, after the wedding, he'll start singing your praises. Come, come, let's go to my room. I have something for you. Baby. Get out. Get out. Hey, what is it? Come on, what's, what's going on? Don't baby me. Don't baby me. Hey, what is going you on? You know what? I am standing here to make sure you never walk in here. So you want to get married and abandon me, right? Oh, that? Okay, look, listen to me. My mom is forcing that girl on me. And she has the audacity to, 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 to post your pictures. 
Now tell me what I need to know. Hey, please, look, I, I already told her to take it down. Well, she hasn't taken it down. Just get out of my sight. Sweetheart. Don't sweet at me. Let me tell you, this is the last time you ever set your eyes on me. Which means you will never see your son again. Hey. So leave. Okay, okay, look, tell me what I need to do. Just tell me what I need to do because I cannot afford not to meet you. See my, my son. I want to meet your mother. Huh. Hey, the only way I can introduce you to my mother is after you've had her grandson. <laughs> Kesta, you know what? From the look of things, your mother will never meet her grandson. Now get out. Do not do Don't. this to me. Babe. Get out. Babe. Get out. Babe, please listen to me. Babe. Babe, please, I love you. Please, don't do this to me. Kester. Um, what is it? Uh, uh, Kester just screamed into my ears to come home. What's going on? I don't know. I have to go. Um, <sighs> can you send me a message? an SMS when you're sure of what's going on. Okay, fine. You can send it to my sister. That's if you, you don't feel comfortable sending it to me. Directly. No problem, Zaria. I have to go. Okay. I told you to take down that picture, right? Well, your mom said I should not do it. Really? Mm-hmm. This wedding is off. Excuse me. Did you hear me? I said this wedding is off. What is going on here? Mom, this wedding will no longer hold. Says who? Says me. Sweetheart, please go inside. I'd like to speak to my son. Hmm? <laughs> Kester. Mom. Are you drunk? No, I am not. Do you think this marriage is just about you? I am no longer interested. But you told me you liked her. I don't like her anymore. Ah. Is there someone else? Maybe. I didn't care who maybe. My friend, speak up. What is her name? Ah. 
Her name is Laura, and she's pregnant for me. Chineke. It's a guinea. I did not know how to tell you, Mom. Hey! Is Norma aware of this development? No, she's not. She has to take down that picture from her social media page. Else, I will lose my son. Your son? Laura is having a boy. And she wants that picture taken down immediately. Hey. What kind of girl is she? Mom. She is a very nice girl. You will like her. You better pray that she is better than Norma. Or else, I'll punish you. Sorry, I'm calling by this time. The phone was already ringing before I realized um, it was probably a bad idea to call. <clears throat> it's fine. <clears throat> that means you're alone? Yeah, he barely comes in here, so I locked the door. Okay, good. Um, so, why was he calling? I sent a message to Bridget. She didn't tell you. No, she must have forgotten. Kester called off the wedding. Your plan worked. Thank you. I'm glad. Uh, so, when do you leave? Mm, I don't know yet. I'm hoping that the mom will come speak to me any moment from now and then. Let me go. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. So, I'll just let you rest, yeah? I'll talk to you later. Thank you. Good night. Good day, Mo. Good day. Good day, Ma. You're welcome. Thank you. Please have a seat. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Mm. Hey. you good? Yes, thank you. You're welcome. Wow. Oh. It's nice meeting you, Mom. I've always wanted to meet you. Oh, that's so sweet. So, what do you do? I, I own a beauty parlor and some other businesses. A beauty parlor. Did you study that in school? Not at all, ma. I studied zoology. Mm. Zoology. The study of the animal kingdom. I guess you had a first class then. <laughs> no. Um, it was third class. Yeah. 
But it does not matter in life, ma. I have not even touched my certificates for anything. Mm. You know, that makes a lot of sense. Wisdom. Um, mm, sweetheart, could you wait in the car for him? I'd like to have a word with my son. Okay, ma. Okay. Okay, ma. Thank you so much. Lovely. <laughs> yes. Thank you, ma. Mm. Thank you. Just take it easy, okay? I'll meet you soon. Mom, I am so sorry it took so long. Come on! How dare you bring that thing to my house to introduce to me? I do not care if she's having a dozen boys for you. I will never give her my blessing. And if I ever hear that nonsense you were spewing from your mouth about not marrying a normal again, I will strip you of every privilege your father and I have bestowed on you. Rubbish. Oh my god, I really love this slide you sent me. <laughs> Just wait till you see the one I'm working on. <laughs> You're really good at this. Thank you. You're very smart. Thank you. What is it? You have won. The wedding has been called back. I'd like to speak with you. Could you please sit? Ma, is everything okay? No, everything is not okay. But that is life. And we have to make the best of whatever it is we have. Uh, Kesta stupidly got a girl pregnant. My dear, I'm so sorry. I can see how shocked you are at the news. Hmm? I know by now you'll be thinking, why should I go ahead and marry him if he already has a woman? But my darling, that woman is not the one that my husband and I will hand over all our hard work to. It needs to be handed over to someone who can make something of it. But no buts, my dear. You are the one I choose as my daughter-in-law. Hmm? I promise that we're going to do everything to keep that woman and her child away from you. I promise. Ne, men do this all the time. A lot of them lack self-control. But if you look at what you stand to gain, you'll see that something like this is a small price to pay. Hmm? We will not rush the wedding. 
I hear the young lady is threatening to disappear with the pregnancy if she hears that Kester is getting married to someone else. Well, he will get married to someone else. You. But we just need to give it some months so she can put to bed. Then we'll claim the child and send her off on her merry way. But just do me a favor. Hmm? Take down his image from your page. Hmm? And let's do this quietly. I don't want to be here. I'm at the mercy of your evil heart, a heart so cold. I don't belong to you. Where is the joy in being with someone? Hello? I'm not fine. Kester's mother just left here. She's talking about the wedding happening in months. Months! How am I supposed to survive here? I hate being here. Okay, yeah, we'll figure something out. Just calm down, okay? And don't show any sign that something is happening. Okay? I will um, work on something that will help us. Okay, but, but do you know how long? Days, weeks, whatever it takes, okay? I will get you out of there. <sighs> okay, I'll just be patient. Thank you for everything. It's okay. You're welcome. coming for this well you've worked with me for weeks now <laughs> this is so crazy <laughs> thank you you're welcome do you know how much money you've made for me well you pay me very well <laughs> <laughs> making you resign and work with me permanently was one of the best decisions i've ever made okay don't flatter me no that's not flattery hmm. now i see why um, kester's mom wants you by all means <laughs> I mean, a son, daft as he is, almost <laughs> ran the company into mods, and then you stepped in and saved it. Now she wants a smart woman running it. <laughs> Sorry of my life. So, um, what are you doing next tomorrow evening? Uh, I'll be going to see my mother at my aunt's. Why? It's my birthday next tomorrow. I'm just trying to make it special. What? Yeah. So, um, celebrate it here with us, uh, Bridget and I. Really? Yes, I mean, you can always see your mom any other time. Yeah, of course. <laughs> and I'll just go back to work. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Um, I have some things I want to show you. Oh, okay. Be really careful, so... Do you understand? Okay, so... What would you say about this one? Oh, this is nice, but just a little touch up here and there. Ah, my genius. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so how about this one? Let me see. No, yeah. I don't like this one. Really? Mm -hmm. It's too dull. You know, the color does not suit the occasion. Do you understand? <laughs> <laughs> no, I think we can watch it. <laughs> Hey. Hi. Uh, how long have you been back? Not long ago. How was work? Hectic. Mm. I had to come back early because I was really tired. Oh, oh my god. Do you remember my birthday? <laughs> I'm sorry. Hello? You don't say. Jude, go away. Are you okay? 
I think so. You like her, don't you? Doesn't matter. It does. I know you started this because of me, just to make me happy. <laughs> but right now it's no longer about me. I haven't done anything special. How can you say that? You bought into this logistics company because of her, right? The whole idea was to get to know Kester's family to see if there's anything you can do to help bring your mama out. You seem to have forgotten that my business is about buying alien companies and trying to rejuvenate them. I understand. But you wouldn't have known about this logistics company if I didn't make you start asking questions about them. Besides, I've never heard you talk about buying or taking over any logistics company. William, please, I beg you in the name of God. If you're doing this because you expect Noma to pay you back, please stop, please. I don't want her to pay me back. Better, because she can never pay you back. She does not have the money to pay you back. Well, fine by me. Well, I actually came here because I saw the way you reacted when you called her. I've not heard the name Jude before. Yeah, that's because Jude is her ex-boyfriend. Oh, my ex don't bother me. Really? <laughs> well, this particular ex does because you saw how excited she was when he called. That's how excited she has always been with him. What are you trying to say? I'm only saying that maybe this ex is tired of testing the waters and has decided to return to her. And you, you think she will go back to him? Does she have a choice? Well, she left him for a reason. Maybe a reason she can forgive him for. Who knows? Well, if she decides to go back to him, that's none of my business. Williams, why do you sound like there are other options on this table and she chose Jude? You've worked with this girl for over two months now. I see the way both of you giggle at each other. And I also see how you stare at her when she's not looking. Perhaps you like this girl, but because of your past experience, you have decided to be too cautious. Um, maybe I don't want to find out that she does not have any feelings at all. At least you have feelings for her. William, you have not returned to Abuja for over two months. Two whole months. And that is unlike you. You made her resign from her job. And promised to pay her double salary. You speak with this girl every night just to make sure she's okay. While we wait to see how she gets out. Okay, fine. I like her. <laughs> Finally, somebody has accepted. I really like her and it's not funny. <laughs> Wait, I'm sorry. Jen, if you like her, tell her. And what of Jude? <laughs> well, nobody knows why he called. If you like this girl, like you said, put in your feelings. Like, let her know what you feel for her. But if you're not willing to take the risk, you're not willing to tell her how you feel. There's nothing I can do to help. <laughs> You're on your own. I have to go back to my room. I really need and I need to sleep because I have to go to work early. Okay. Good night. Good night. Bye. Bye. Come in. Oh. Who? Good morning. Good morning. Um, Jet. Oh, she rushed out early. Oh, okay. I'll just start working. Okay. <sighs> So can I ask you a question? Yeah, sure. 
How much is the plot of land in your village? What? Answer me. I don't know. Can you find out? Yeah. What's going on? Well, I was thinking there's a faster way out of this, your Kesta issue. How? Okay, so, um... Your mom is sentimentally attached to your village, right? Which is why she does not want to stay out for so long. Right. And that's because of your late dad. Yes. And the only house she has in the village is the one Kester's mother bought for her. Yes. Are there lands to buy? I want to buy and build a house for your mother. <laughs> Do you have an idea what you're talking about? I mean, the cost. Look, I know it. I know about the cost, and it's going to be expensive. But it's not something I cannot afford. <laughs> what is going on? I just wish I had thought about this earlier. Why are you doing this? Get yourself out of Kester's and his mother's grip. Then I promise I'll tell you. How fast can you reach your mother? And ah, uh, why? I want you to reach her immediately. And I was also thinking, um, are there women, female groups in your village? Especially Christian or church organization? I think it's um, high time we reported this test and his woman's issue and especially what his mother is doing to you. Uh, William, what is going on? Can you reach your mom and send me a bill? Yeah, now? Yes, immediately. And you're not going to tell me why you're doing this? I said, get yourself out of Kester's house, and I promise I will. Okay. I would um, come back. Yeah, it's cool. My beautiful wife. Good evening, ma. How was work today? Fine, thank you, ma. Mm. Um, I've been thinking about your mother lately. Where is she? Oh, she's at my aunt's place. Oh. I hope she knows we are no longer fighting. No? Mm? Nobody will touch her property in the village. <laughs> yes, ma. Okay. I'd like to see her. I want us to have a chat. I think I overheard her saying she's going to come see you tomorrow. Imagine that. I am thinking of her and she is thinking of me. <laughs> Family love. <laughs> the bond is so strong. Uh, awesome. <laughs> uh, okay, I think you should get some rest. I'm sure today was hectic for yes, you. Your mother, me, and you have a lot to talk about tomorrow. Okay. No <laughs> awesome, darling. Ah, so many plans to be made. <laughs> oh, I don't want to be here. I'm at the mercy of your evil heart, a heart so cold. I don't belong to you. Where is the joy in being with someone you don't even love? I can't be yours. Let me go. I can't be yours. Let me go. Oh, yeah. 
I said that I'll be the one opening the door for you from now. <laughs> You're welcome. Good morning. Mm -hmm. morning, my in-law. Please take a seat. Nemo. What is going on here? Why are you with your box of clothes? Did you have a fight with Kesta? Kesta! Yes, Did you fight with her? What is love without my joy? I thought it was How am I supposed to have fought with someone I hardly share a room with or even see? <clears throat> Ma, I'm leaving. <laughs> you must be joking, right? She is not. I came to tell you that my God will pay you back for all the pains and tears you caused my daughter and I. And she will no longer marry your son. You need me to be your friend and not your enemy. I will personally demolish the house you built for me and then give you back your land. Are you even listening to yourself? Do you plan to live in the air? <laughs> Seriously. If only you know. But then, I will go to the women's meeting and tell them how you've been treating my daughter. Even though your son here is expecting a child from another woman. You will not dare! You know how the women are. You will never be able to come home or come to church and display the way you used to. Are oh, you threatening me? What else do you have over me? You have a son that knows nothing other than to destroy the hard work you and your husband have built. And you thought the only way to preserve what you have left is to cage my daughter? Hey, mind how you address me, okay? Or what? Nem, oh. let's go. Hey, hey, Cordelia. There's no need for all the harsh words being thrown around. We're all friends here. Look, this thing is about to work out. These children love each other already. Huh? Look, uh, uh, let's just calm down, cool down tempers and uh, see, I promise I will never try to threaten you or hurt you again. I promise. Do you know the pain I've been through? Because you caged my daughter and I had no way to rescue her. My God will pay you back. My God will pay you back for all the things you've done to me and my daughter. God will pay you back. Let's go. Let's go. Wicked woman. Let's go. Wicked woman. Hey. Hey. What can you marry back at Plan of almost 20 years flushed down the drain. I'm going to go back it. Hey! What do they know that I do not know? What is giving them this? Hey! They want me to go say. Hey, Kesta is about to destroy everything. Laura from the trenches is about to become my daughter-in-law. Laura from the trenches. Where, 
Duh. What just happened now? All my plans. Hey. Hey. Yes, I'm coming. I need an explanation. Why are you doing this? I'm in love with you. What? Come on. Don't tell me you've not noticed. And, and I've been holding myself from looking at you and having you figure out what I've been thinking. You, you like me too? Are you kidding me? Have you seen yourself? So, when you took that call from Jude, I became sad. Why? Because he looked really excited. <laughs> he's been my friend for a long time. And he's a funny guy, so whenever I see his message, it makes me laugh. <laughs> but he's your ex. Bridget told you. Yes, he is. And now? He's married. I mean, that's what he called me to tell me. <laughs> and I've been, I've been killing myself here. <laughs> Even if he wasn't there and you're not standing before me, I still wouldn't go back to him. Huh. So I have no competition. You do? Who? Hmm? Kesta. <laughs> <laughs> I'll kill him. <laughs> I'm glad you're out of there. Words cannot describe how grateful I am. My mom and aunt are so happy. Thank you. I'm just happy I was able to do something. Thank you. You're welcome. And happy birthday. <laughs> Thank you. Can I have something for you? Okay. What is this? <laughs> I know you, you used to live here, but I want you back. And this time I want you back as my girlfriend. <laughs> is that possible? Yes. <laughs> Isn't this so beautiful? <laughs> <laughs> Happy birthday, big girl. Thank you, Thank you sweetheart. You're welcome. <laughs> you are the sweetest, decent, and amazing person that I know. Happy birthday to you. So now you're my brother's girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys. Let's celebrate. Happy birthday. I don't want to be here. May my 
at the mercy of your evil heart A heart so cold I don't belong to you Where's the joy in being with someone That you don't even love? 